I've been using Obsidian for over a year and here's how I structure my vault. So first thing you need to understand is what your use case for Obsidian is. My use case is both public and private. So I use Obsidian as my private personal knowledge management system, but it also powers my website via Obsidian Publish. And that results in me structuring my uh, file structure accordingly. The other key principle I use is I file away my files by purpose and not by content. So you shouldn't be sitting there thinking like, oh, does this go in my geometry folder? Does this go in my writing folder? It's more so like, what is this file being used for primarily? And that's the structure I use. So let's get into it. So first things first, to keep things simple from a decision fatigue perspective, I have a private folder here. And this is basically any note that is more or less my own original writing or notes um, that I don't plan to publish online. So any dedicated note. So if you pop this open, I also have a, a subfolder called projects. That's where anything I'm working on that could be lumped together as a project that's private, I lump, I, I, I drop it into here. Simple as that. And everything else just goes into its own file into a folder called private. That's it. If I need to find something in particular, I will bookmark it or I will search for it. Next step is what do you do with new files you create? So you may create a file that you want to work on over the next couple of days, but as soon as you create it, it either pops up into your the root of your folder, which is annoying, or it might just you know get lost in a giant folder before you're done working on it. So that's where I create this folder called Workbench. So any new file I create, let's call this GFG, um, it automatically populates within this Workbench. So this makes it really easy for me to intentionally go into my Workbench every couple of days and see, okay, what have I been working on the last couple of days? Uh, you know, intro to brand writing, still working on it. This file here, I'm kind of done with it for now. I'm theoretically, you know, realistically not going to work on it for the next couple of weeks. Throw it into my private folder and I'll come back to it when, uh, you know, my life brings me back to it, right? Simple as that. So uh, that's what I use the workbench for. Next up, daily notes. This is very simple. So I work on a daily note first system. So as soon as my vault opens, it pops into my daily notes. Uh, which is then fueled by a, a template I use every day. So throughout the day, my quick capture, rough thoughts, tasks, it all goes into the daily notes and every new one that's created uh, gets uh, populated into this folder. And this makes it very easy to kind of scan up and up and down um, chronologically to, you know, to dig things up. But if I'm really going to dig things up, I use the search. So I search my daily notes. Next one here is kind of my capture folder. I call it reference. So this is where I will import um, you know, sometimes full articles, sometimes some, I'll write up summaries of books, really anything that I, I can't call my own thoughts or my own ideas, I'll put into the reference folder. So some of this stuff, um, so I have a David Goggins summary for his book, Can't Hurt Me. Obviously, it's a very uh, truncated summary that just focuses on the things that I care about uh, with links to ideas I may want to explore further. Um, the key benefit of this is you have your knowledge in one place. So this is a book I come back to and refer all the time. I don't need to open up a Google uh, page, search for a summary. I literally have the summary right here in context, pull it up and link it with my notes. That's the benefit of that. And also within the reference folder, I have my folder for Omnivore, um, which is my kind of, you know, readwise free alternative um, and all the highlights from there just, just pump into this reference folder. So that's what I use that for. Next up, I'm not going to go into it uh, with uh, super high depth, but I have my files folder. This is just for like, you know, JPEGs, PDFs, random stuff like that. I just chuck it in there. Um, and then my templates folder is where I keep my templates for my AI prompts, uh, my newsletter template, my daily note template, weekly note template, all of that. So everything uh, templates and up, this is all private stuff. And now we're going to get into the public side of my vault. So cards, these are basically polished notes of my own ideas that I'm ready to paste on my website. So everything I published on my website um, gets put into this cards folder and media is public media. So public JPEGs, PDFs that I want to show up on my website, they go into these two folders. And anytime I hit uh, publish on Obsidian publish, um, if I go into unchanged, you'll see yeah, cards and media and also my, my root files, they're all here and they auto publish to my website. So that's what um, that's what I use these two folders for. And finally, um, as part of the root here, you will see um, a bunch of kind of, uh, you know, root pages. Um, I have it set up. So if you go to my website, um, oh, 
um, in YouTube analytics. Let's go to my website here. Uh, there it is. If you go to my website and you open up the, the side navigation, all of these files here are basically the navigation for my website. So it's an easy way for me to adjust those uh, from time to time. Now this looks a bit clunky and it may get annoying. Um, and as you build out your vault, you might not want to look at this every day, but still have some sort of navigation. Um, and that's where bookmarks come in. So bookmarks are where you can, you know, bookmark specific notes in your vault, regardless of the structure. Um, so here I have a couple of files I'm working on today. I have a welcome page and my home page. So if I'm working on my brand writing article here, um, I can just jump right into it and I really, really, really um, hone down my navigation to the things that are relevant to me this week. Um, so bookmarks are useful for that. But back to the core of the video, this is how I structure my vault. Your vault is obviously going to look different, but I figured it'd be good to see a real use case for somebody who's been using Obsidian for a year 